Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, today I want to basically show you how to use this Chrome extension which is called the HTML to Framer. It's a Chrome extension built by Framer. Um, and it is amazing. Basically you can literally go to any website you want and copy certain sections that you like and bring them into Framer, right? The only tricky part is making it responsive, but I'm going to show you how to do that as well. So let's say that we want to, that we like this uh, Zapier website. Let's click on the extension and let's select this whole hero section. As you can see, it's, it highlights it as, as a blue. So let's just copy. Let's go back to Framer and let's make this full screen and let's press paste. Now, as you can see, it, 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 it gets the job done, but it's not very organized. What we can do is we can adjust some of the sizing here. So we can basically adjust the size of the, of the, of the text. We can make this also a stack if we add some layouts. So we have two buttons in this layout we have, let's see. We go back here we need to copy this text so all we have to do is basically just um all we have to do is basically just do some maintenance right so we can just copy this text remove it from the frame bring it over here make it black color and we can make this stack fit the content as well as as well as this fit the content make this Sorry, fit the content as well. And make this fit the content. So all we have to do is just make sure that everything is nice and smooth. We can set some padding on the right and left. For example, like this. And we can put these two together as a stack. So add the stack, make the width fit, and this height seems to be a little bit, you know, smaller than the other one. So let's just set it like this. And then we can put a, a stack to this as well. Make this fit the content. Make sure that these buttons are below this and kind of add a stack to this. We can call this like the left side. Let's give this a particular layout as well let's give this frame a layout over here so now it's looking good we have this nice little layout let's combine this layout with the stack then we have the image so but first let's just finish this part let's make this start left aligned we're going to add some, some gap here. So it's starting to look more like it, right? Obviously, we need to add a stack here and make this its own layout by going like this, making it over here, and just adjusting everything to its liking, right? And then we can put this into its own stack add stack exactly we have it here let's make this desktop like this again and this stack can be height fit content and this one as well and as you can see we're just you know making sure that everything is nice and dandy we can add some padding to this to the right and left Maybe 60 in the top maybe 120 bottom as well and boom we have our nice hero section from Zapier I mean obviously we don't have the same font but it's as easy as that you can just copy paste certain sections very easily I mean this one we can make it into a bold but obviously you can see that it also takes the color code which is amazing so it's not like a black it's like this off like reddish, black, brownish color, which um, looks very nice with the orange. So that's one way of, of doing it. What we can also do with this particular component, we can 
copy different sections at the same time. So let's say that we want to, um, let's say that we want to copy this and we want to copy this layout. So we, what we can do is we can just hold shift and click on both of them and go back to our desktop and place it there. Now, obviously there is a bit of a formatting issue, but that is what we have. To, that is our job as, you know, framer developers to make, to make it responsive. So what we can do is we can go back here, kind of see how it's built. Okay. This is a little bit more complicated to build because it's a, 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 a interactive component. So what we can do is we can just remove this one and adjust the space here. To be fit to content and we can make these guys like these cards actually ended up uh converting very nicely we just have to add a layout make everything on the left and give it a nice little padding and then we can add this into another stack that would be going horizontal like this and we can make sure that everything so this would go on top okay it makes sense we can remove this one just pretend that these two are in its own stack. So, so not only can you copy the exact way that they like that they built their website, you can also adjust it. You can also adjust it, removing certain certain text, adding different colors, right? So this is this is what's great about this particular Chrome extension. I'm gonna delete this as well. It's, it also seems kind of complicated. I mean. Um, we're, we can also eventually do like some type of interactive component. The, the cards look pretty nice. Um, I just do think that we have to add a layout to them. So what we can do is go like this, put these into a another stack and make it go like this. And right now we have too many. So we have one, two, three, four to three, four, five, six. So we can put these, we can put three of these in its own stack and three of these in their own stack. And these two would basically go like this and then we can have something like this. Each one is their own stack, image, image, we would have to make this each one basically have a fit to content height and have some type of padding maybe. So these are all the different possibilities that you can do. Anyways, uh, I hope this video was, was helpful to you. Um, maybe you can start going ahead and, and looking at your favorite websites and starting to, to actually try to uh, implement them in Framer and kind of add layouts, add these stacks and try to do it correctly. I'm going to, I'm going to add the remix link to this particular uh, project in the description below. So you guys can also play around with it and see how I kind of built these different stacks. I think in the beginning, whenever I learned how to build in Framer, I always looked at different component libraries, different templates to see how these, uh, you know, different creators made their system. So this is a really good practice for you to learn how to do this. And um, if you like my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps me in the channel. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you all so much. I love you. Bye-bye.